Welcome to the Ab Fab, a 30-day, 7-minute core challenge by Dr. M.L.E. Each workout features fresh takes on three classic core moves with three rounds of work all in 7 minutes or less, guaranteed to cut deep into core strength you didn't know you had. This is day 7, and each move is spelling the word way. Starting in a plank position. This is gonna be a wider plank, so take your feet off your yoga mat, shift your weight forward, draw your navel into your spine, bring your butt in line. This might be enough for you, and that's totally cool. If you're ready to grow with me, tap the knees in and down. That's the W, y'all. You can see it, right? I know you can. <laughs> So that gentle knee tap is getting deep into our obliques and our lower abdominals. Very advanced, so let's do four. Two, yes, walk it back in. From here, tap your toes, shift forward, tap your to shoulders, toes, Shoulders. So think about the motion of your hips. High. Now bring them in line. Chest weight forward. Hips high. Now bring your butt in line. Chest weight forward. This is the A. <laughs> I know you can see it, kind of. Why am I spelling way? Why am I making these alphabet shapes? Just to give my mind something to do, right? To shift focus from the work in my core. There might be other metaphorically significant reasons. Perhaps you'll think of those and share them in the comments. I don't know. Either way, give me four more. Use your breath here. Maintain that good form. Chest forward, butt down. Hips high. Flip it over for the Y for the W in the way. So feet wide outside your yoga mat, fingertips gentle behind your head, check this sequence out. So we crunch and then we crunch and tap in. We crunch and then we crunch and tap out. So it's like we're opening and closing our Y. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining. Regardless of whether you can see the Y or not, this is sequence is great for getting super deep into the core and knitting everything back together. So making our abdominal wall nice and flat. So we should keep the fingertips gentle, elbows wide, so the work stays in the abs, out of the neck. Let's do four more sets. Oh yeah, let's get in there. You'll notice that the range of motion of the crunch is reduced, that's cool. That's fine because what we're trying to do is tighten up, not bulk up. That is the goal of this entire sequence and the entire Ab Fab Challenge. Last round right here. Round two. Back to a W. So again, Feet wide, chest forward, butt in line, navel to spine. Maybe stay there, maybe add the tap. Maybe grow, yes, you can grow this move by lifting an alternating leg lift. And then I think, I believe, I know, you can really start to see This is a very advanced move, working all the way around our core. Walk it in, shift back, toe taps, shoulder taps. And I'm going to challenge myself to this time start with my left hand, right, my non-dominant side. So maybe try that. It will feel a little bit different and ostensibly will force you to pay more attention to what's going on with your body. 
So again, chest weight forward, shoulders maybe a little past the wrist, then hips high, heels to the ground. So we're going from plank to down dog in a very advanced way. Let's do it four more times. Last one. Flip it over. Back to the Y. So again, feet wide, fingertips gentle behind your head. Crunch and tap it in. Crunch, hop it out. Exhale up, inhale down as always, rolling ribs to hips. And know that if you simply want to crunch without hopping your feet, that's cool. You can always revisit this video, grow the moves later. Yes. How about, mm, let's just do two more. I did promise seven minutes or less, which is a challenge for me. I want to do more like 15 minutes or more, <laughs> but I don't think y'all would buy into that, unfortunately. All right, last one. Flip it over. One more time. Spelling way. So you know all the layers, pick the one that's a good challenge for your core right now. And again, know that you can always revisit this video the move. I like three rounds because we learn the moves, then we practice them, right? And then we can really fire them up, work the range of motion, build some confidence, some muscle memory in the third round. Two more each side. You also notice that the rounds get shorter too, right? That's my gift to you. <laughs> You're so welcome. All right, walk. A. Ah, oh, yes. So we're also sneaking in a little bit of a stretch here, a little bit of a nervous system. Reset with that down dog. Another gift. I love to be as efficient as possible in all of my workout moves and routines. Um, and so one thing that I love to do is strength, strengthen and stretch simultaneously. Four more. You're also sneaking in a little cardio here. I know you can feel your heart rate rising. So that's gonna get the endorphins flowing, leave us feeling this workout happier. All right, flip it over. Last time through. <sighs> Why? Let's get it. Big breaths, deep crunches. They go together. Roll ribs to hips. Exhale up, inhale down. Those basics become even more important as we start to fatigue.